guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing this look. It is just a very simple, soft, defined eye with a nude lip. It's really just a classic look and something that everyone can wear. So if you guys want to see how we got this look, let's go. All right, guys, so I started to apply Luminous Silk with um, a brush, and I do not like applying that product with a brush because I feel like it's such a sheer formula that it just gets absorbed right into the brush. I am now using my Juno and Co sponge, which is the better option for me because this sponge really doesn't absorb your product and it builds coverage. Today I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Liquid Concealer and I purchased the shade 7.5. I expected that I wasn't going to like this, the applicator because I am just not a fan of this like spongy tip applicator. But we'll see how it works out because I've heard a lot of great things about this. And I did get a sample and I liked it, which is what was like, all right, just try it out. I think mine might be defective to be honest with you guys. Like I'm not getting a ton of product, but like if I squeeze, like I just did around my mouth, then I get more uh, product. It's really weird. So I'm gonna be using my Airspun um, powder and I'm using the puff. I really like this powder. I haven't worn it in a while, but I do really like it. And I remember I purposely put it away because I was using it so much. So today we're going to use a Charlotte Tilbury Magic Star Highlighter. It looks like this. And I am just going to take this um, Real Techniques brush and I'm just going to basically bathe myself in this. When I go in with my setting powder, you guys will see that it just looks more like skin, but I do want a really obvious glow to my skin. And while this may look a little messy and you guys might be like, what the front door is she doing? Trust the process it is going to look beautiful all right guys i am back and as you guys can see i have wings um i used the dose of colors rodeo gel liner it is just a beautiful caramel brown shade and we are going to be using the rust stack by melt cosmetics it is just a beautiful rust stack this is what it looks like and I think primarily we're going to be using just like these shades here. So the first thing I'm going to take is a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with Classic, which is the lightest shade in this stack. And I'm just going to lightly dust that on the lid and right under the brow. And then I'm also going to take this shade and just kind of hit this inner corner here because we naturally have a shadow. I'm going to take Antique, which looks like this. And I'm going to use the same brush and I'm going to lightly just take that color right into the brow bone. I didn't film my liner for you guys because you guys know that I need to get super close to be able to see what I'm doing. And the other thing is the Dose of Colors gel liners are a little drier. So they are a little trickier to use. I'm gonna take Rubbish, which is this beautiful mustard brown. And I'm gonna be using a refer number 13, which is just a really thin detail brush. And I'm just going to use that to add some depth and definition into the crease. And then I'm just taking this outer part and then making sure that it kind of meets with the wing. So it's looking like this. I'm going to take Rust, which is a beautiful warm brown shade. And I'm going to use the same brush. You guys know I don't like to dirty my brushes. I'm going to do the same thing. Just keep this shade right in this um, crease. And then with a blending brush, I'm just going to blend that out a little bit. 
So I haven't tried the palette formula um, for like, we'll say Russ, because I know that Rust has um, its palette. I'm surprised that they haven't done um, Dark Matter. That's my favorite stack, but I don't know what the quality of the palettes are, but I will tell you guys that the stacks are pretty amazing. All right guys, so while I let my mascara set, I'm going to take a little bit of rubbish and a little bit of, and a little bit of rust. So these two shades together, just tapping into both very lightly. And I'm going to run that right under my lower lash line. I'm going to take a little bit more of rubbish, which is the mustard shade, because I don't want this to look like I'm sick. I just want it to look like a soft brown. And since rubbish has that rust red undertone, it can look a little red on me. For mascara, I'm taking my Pat McGrath Dark Star mascara. All right guys, so I want to clean up my lid a little bit. So I'm gonna take some of my Milk Cosmetics foundation and I'm using this Anastasia flat brush and it's to clean up your your brows but today i am going to use it to clean up my lid i'm going to take a clean brush and just lightly buff these edges out i don't want a ton of product on my lid but i want enough to just kind of help clean up and brighten my lid. I'm just going to take the original brush that I used to define the crease and just kind of clean up to make sure that I don't lose any of that intensity. I am now going to take Classic and a flat brush and I'm going to use that to apply it right where we've applied the foundation. I'm taking a rubbish again and using the same brush I'm just going to Again, lightly dust this right in the crease area to make sure that we have definition. For my bronzer, I'm using my Cover FX bronzer. And this is in Sun Kissed Bronze. And I'm going in with the matte shade. And I'm just going to start buffing this on the outer portion of my cheek. And as you guys can see, I'm keeping it kind of high. Also around the perimeters of my face. For my cheeks, I'm gonna be using Honey Thief by Melt Cosmetics. I don't know if you guys saw, but they're getting ready to release some new blushes. Oh, they look so good. I really want the peach shade. So I'm going to take a Pillow Talk Medium and line my lips. For my lips, I'm using Patrick Tosh She's Secure. All right, guys, so here is your final look. It is just a, it is a really soft, defined eye. This look is so flattering on a lot of different eye shapes and age demographics. Like, this is a classic go-to look for anyone. Let me know down below if you guys have tried any of Mel Cosmetics products, what your thoughts are, if you've tried their palettes versus their stacks. I am personally a huge fan of their stacks, but that's just me. And their liners. Their gel liners are fire. Let me know down below if you guys like to see more tutorials using Melt Cosmetics or other brands or products. Let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for checking out this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Like this video and show some love down below. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.